Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and it's another month, it's more Olight. Now Olight's going after the red, white, and blue flag patriotic theme here, and yeah, we'll go there in just a second, but first a quick rundown on some of the things. They also have uh, an updated O-Pen, I'll do that, a separate video on that, that is really cool. But anyway, this is the main thing, um, that Olight has, you know, really splashed with the U.S. flag. This is the Roboto 2, it's 154 cm kind of a axis or, or cross beam lock knife, uses sort of a stonewashed aluminum scale that are, uh, that's anodized in, in the stripes. There are 50 stars if you want to count them. Um, the black blade here is 154 cm in kind of a modified sheep foot or modified worn cliff, depending on which way you want to you know, bend the modification. Um, nice solid design. This is the uh, Roboto 3. I did a video earlier with this kind of organic honeycomb uh, feel um, and a the same 154 cm but on more of a traditional drop point blade versus this modified sheep foot blade. This is, of all the knives I've been playing with in, in recent memory, probably the best box cutting knife um, and box opening knife. Except maybe for the um, this gigantic worn cliff if you're if you're dismantling boxes. Um, this heron here is just a beast, but if you're opening small boxes, things like that, it's a little bit overkill. This just is great for that. There's something about both the angle and the uh, placement of that tip that just slices through things. You've got a good solid purchase on this handle and um, plenty of strength up there as the uh, intersection of those two edges, or the front edge and the and the, gr the cutting edge. Neat little design. Um, another of their patriotic themes is this. Um, this is the i3T EOS. It's a little two-speed uh, AA flashlight. Um, again, some of these uh, maybe you only bring them out a few times a year, or they're gifts, or they are just fun. Now, honestly, when I opened this package from Olight, I, was, I could literally hear John Philip Sousa music playing in my head. It was just, um, that, this is what it looked like when I pulled the boxes out of the box, and I'm looking at this thing, and it's like, wow, that surprised me. Um, this is limited edition. I don't know how easily you'll be able to get a hold of it. I've heard it's down to like a thousand pieces or something is what they were going to make. Um, anyway, this is the last one. They have taken the O-Tackle and made a um, kind of a limited edition patriotic theme. It's still the titanium here, but they have put a lock in. If you notice that this, the shape of that, if I re remove, or excuse me, uh, retract the blade, you can see that this rotates. So if I turn it, it is now locked. There's, it's not going to open, so it's not going to accidentally, you know, slice you or something as long as it's closed. Um, it feels like they, they thinned that up a little bit too, maybe, I don't know. But it's, it's a good solid design. I'm glad they're evolving it rather than abandoning it and coming out with something new. But just having that little twist there does allow this... Um, you know, a little bit more control, very smooth action uh, once you get, you know, cycle it a few times. And this has um, G10 scales with the uh, stars and stripes, and there are 50 stars. Took I had to count them a few times, kept losing track, but yep, there are 50. So let's go there. Obviously, Olight is a Chinese company, a Chinese company that's going to go public soon, too. So some big happenings there for them. But um, the U.S. flag is quite recognizable. Primarily, you know, it's red, white, and blue. It's got stripes. It's got stars and a blue background and a corner. That's not the only flag that is red, white, and blue. I mean, France and Russia have red, white, and blue flags. Um, there are many. This is kind of like the, the state of Texas's flag or Liberia. Liberia's flag looks very much like the U.S. flag, except it has one big star instead of 50 small stars. And that actually was a deliberate nod to the United States. So it's not like an accident. Um, but I used to carry this one around, you know, it's my bottle opener here, you know, so there is some history here, you know, with a bottle opener, especially around certain times of the year when you might want a bottle opener. This one is uh, an Imperial, I believe was the manufacturer, just a guess here, made in Japan, and I never really worried about it, you know, it was Japanese, but had a patriotic, almost Texas flavor. Thought it was a cool little knife, it's a little slip joint. Um, however, you know, obviously, thinking about, well, the Chinese government, 
uh, or the Chinese uh, country, I don't know if the government's too involved in this, maybe, um, producing patriotic American stuff. We are the largest importer of Chinese products across the board. Um, almost everything has some connection. It might not be the actual materials um, or the manufacturer. It might be the machines, the chips, the electronics. In a lot of cases, the engineers, you know, maybe studied in China and are working in the U.S. Um, there's just, there's so much overlap now that to choose something like a flashlight and then stand your ground and say that's, that's too far. Um, I mean, we're obviously all able to make our own decisions, but that's one where there is so much blur. I mean, I have a lot of um, knives from Europe, um, tons of Japanese knives. You know, I love Swedish hatchets. Um, a lot of uh, special, specialized gear that I have is, is all from, you know, particular overseas places, whether Wales or Scotland, you know, Croatia. Um, anyway, so this one just happens to be China, and... They're doing a darn good job, and I thought, you know what, if, if China wants to spend their time making patriotic things for us so we can enjoy these during our Independence Day, uh, you know, good for them, good for us. Um, if Benchmade made something like this that was affordable, you know, I, I'm all over it, but they don't. In fact, I don't know of a U.S. knife, a, a major U.S. knife manufacturer that is producing stuff like this. So, you know, my first one was Japan. My second one here is now China. You know, uh, where's the U.S. version? Um, if you know of one, let me know. You know, if it's, you know, $500 special makeup, that's a little bit different because I can get an artisan to build something for me if I wanted. But overall, uh, you know, the Chinese are producing um, some excellent knives, excellent flashlights, and there's, a, um, you know, a kind of a good feeling you know, I, I've been carrying this a lot, and at first I thought, well, it's a little over the top for things I usually carry. I kind of like more the subdued tactical, but after a while, it was just fun to take that out and use it. Um, and that's what this is all about. And with that, Doc out.